Ready? No, that's what happens when you mix uh, business and pleasure. Why are you laughing? What's wrong, my sweet? I can't tell you why I'm laughing. It's not appropriate for all of our viewers. Some of them. Some of them, yes. Now, today is an important day because the biggest spot of all time has arrived on my neck. Yes. Not only Monumental. one. Monumental. Not only one, three. This is the giant. Yeah, but that's not hurting. That's come to a head. This one is building underneath the surface. There's going to be an eruption. Wow. Feel, feel the heat and the pressure underneath that. Hmm. I don't understand. I really don't understand. I'm really upset now. We've been waiting a few months for a new song from Kobe. Mm -hmm. When is he releasing a new song? When I'm not around. When I'm away from home. <laughs> so the song came out on Thursday. It's Saturday. We were unable to film because this one was away with work, hunting down Luca Hani in Switzerland. I didn't hunt and stop it. Luca is somewhere in the north. I was somewhere in the south. So you looked up. <laughs> <laughs> So, since Thursday, mm -hmm. I'm not opening uh, Instagram, I didn't open Instagram, yeah. and Facebook, the way I looked at Facebook yeah. was like that. Skip, skip, skip. <laughs> it was like that. <laughs> I couldn't, I didn't want to know anything about Kobe's new song. So today, we are finally reacting to Kobe Marimi's new song, Yalla Bye, after this. Ten months ago, we have started with this. Mm. Oh. Oh, you cheeky! Sorry, sorry, sorry. His mum's trousers. Yes. What a magical journey it was. We had tears, we had laughs, and we had some of the best outfits any mum of a performer has ever worn. With Kobe Marim's journey, we got bigger and bigger as a channel, more and more followers, so thank you so much for all of you there, all of you Kobe's fans there that uh, support our channel and followed our channel. And also, we got so many messages asking us to react <laughs> to this new song. Can we hear some? Maybe incorrect facts about the I Marimi. will try my best. Stop looking. Facts. We love him. We like him. 
<laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. There were times when I forgot who he was during some of the performances, but you know. Now, facts are really hard to find because there isn't really much interesting. So I try and <laughs> Pope and Remy. I mm. think it was a bit rude what you just said. <laughs> I'm not saying he's not interesting, but I mean, there's not a lot of information. Good. Kobe Marimi mm. was born on the 8th of October, 1991. Mm. Um, he represented Israel at Eurovision this year, finishing 23rd out of 26. That it was a disappointing was outrageous. Outrageous. But we all agree that he delivered a stellar performance and a quote now, correct me, this might be wrong. He may not have said this, but I found it. For me, it's not a competition. I'll win if I know that I did my best. If I walk off the stage and say, it was amazing, I enjoyed it. Well, he did cry. He's not, or well, wasn't, a professional performer at the time. A big deal to him. He performed in Israel, his homeland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was waiting called home. home. <laughs> he was waiting for his breakthrough. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. For I don't know how how long he was not performing in any way. He was a bartender or walking in a restaurant. I was waiting for that moment. And can you imagine, like six months later, seven months later, since the process started, he was oh. performing in front of 180 million viewers around the world in Eurovision. I understand why he was so emotional. Mm -hmm. And Kobe, you have done an amazing job on that stage on that night. So well done. You beat Michael Rice, so. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't he, hard, was it? <laughs> following Eurovision, ah, following. he performed in a Hebrew adaptation of the musical Spring Awakening, which deals with the anxieties of teenagers and their sexualities. He's been in the gym a lot, if you follow his Instagram, where a rather buff personal trainer is using a strange contraption on him quite a lot. <laughs> And he always has this face. <laughs> when, uh, I'm sure inside him is enjoying but screaming. It's like <laughs> I think we can we can all relate to that. <laughs> and lastly, his mum is widely recognised as one of the most stylish women in all of Israel. You decided fact. that this is not a, this, okay. This is a fact that you've decided, but um, maybe incorrect. Thank you so much for that. Just before we are going uh, to watch the or to listen to the song, what are your expectations? What I was missing, and I think we talked about a lot in home version on the, what they've done after they released mm -hmm. the song, that it felt like they took Kobe, real Kobe, outside of this song, mm -hmm. and we we fell in love through this process of, of Rising Star with Kobe's voice, the way he touched us, the way he made <laughs> us. And I remember the first audition, and I remember how I got goosebumps straight away, just hearing the first notes of, of, of what he was singing. And home, unfortunately, the last version, what we performed on the stage, did not deliver the same emotion uh, feeling that about him. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping Yalla Bai will deliver that. I'm hoping that it's slightly upbeat mm -hmm. and kind of a, a cheeky reaction to some negative fans and things like that. Like, oh, whatever, move on. Or, if I'm brutally honest, um, it made me think of uh, Le Casse de Papel, Boom Boom Chow. So he's, you know, it's after a hookup and you're just like, yeah, yalla bye. <laughs> All right, move on, done. On to the next. As you can see, mm -hmm. you know, you recognize the symbol? I do indeed. There is a hamsa on my it's a, it's bracelet. It's a lot of hamsa. Right here. Maybe it's about thoughts, maybe it's about uh, anxieties mm -hmm. and, and just just you know yeah. get rid of uh, get rid of those anxieties we know nothing about this seriously we i was we avoided everything I, I i really was trying to, to to not know anything about it because we really want to come to it as as, as fresh and clean as possible <laughs> and it's important to say that every reaction we are doing here we are sharing with you our own honest opinion and we do not wish to offend hurt insult or objectifying neither kobe marimi nor anybody else but if by any chance we are offending you, we are sorry. Yalla bye. Are you ready? I think so. Kobe Marimi, Yalla bye, starting now. <laughs> so there is no clip for this song? No. Lazy. Come on, Kobe. You just, you know, put together some of your Instagram stories and you have a clip. <laughs> Oh. 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 
So my immediate thought, this is not going to mean anything to you, in The Legend of Zelda, there's a tribe of women who live in the East and it's all Arabic themed and the music sounds like when you go to their place. Love it. It's a bit dramatic uh, <laughs> entrance, yeah. isn't it? It's like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> I, I can't cope with it. I just can't cope with it. Sorry. So much going on. And, and this is a sexy Arabic trap song and I bloody love it. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I feel like I want to go back and hear it again before we carry on. But we, no. There'll be another verse. No, rules are rules. We need to, care to, to watch it first. The instrumentation in the verses is amazing. The, the eyes! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Okay, are you... Mm. Very hot now. <laughs> I'm sweating now. <laughs> He takes me to his version of Fuego. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this music fits his voice, uh, yes. his style. Uh, uh, it takes me to Fuego, how it made me feel when I watched, you know, because before Fuego, we watched his he, Everything dreams, was very slow. Slow, and then suddenly it came with this, and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> and this is what the feeling I'm having at the moment, because I really didn't know what to expect. Mm. Wow. And I love hearing him sing in Hebrew. <laughs> love it, those strings. Oh. <laughs> oh, of course. I'm really upset now. Why this wasn't put to Eurovision? I'm really <laughs> upset now. This is exactly I'm what really I wanted. I'm really upset now because <laughs> it's like this is perfect. This is like yes, he sings in Hebrew. So what? He could have been in Eurovision. Yep. Yes, this rhythm. I'm imagining the performance they could put around him. This, but I love it. I, I just bloody love it. I love it. And why wasn't it in Eurovision? I said before Eurovision, if he had done a song that had a really Arabic feel to it, that would have been a really exactly. great statement for Israel to make in front of Europe. And they went for a really, really Western sound. Western sound and not very Kobe Marimi's. Yeah, so this, this is him. This is him. This is, this, you know, you feel Kobe's Marimi's fingerprint here. Wow. Okay. Yalla bye, yalla bye. <laughs> I also like that this break changes. More has come into it's it. It's changing. The, the, the rhythm changes yeah. through the, the... It's not like very, you know... It's not just, here's our break for eight bars. Yeah. It's, here's our break. Oh no, it's all changed for the last four bars. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a clip when you have all those eyes looking at you? <laughs> I bloody love that. That was fantastic. 
made me emotional now even because this is not an emotional song but because of all of our journey okay bye 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 this was Hot. supposed to be on your vision your vision <laughs> stage this like this is so interesting music wise vocally wise <clears throat> Kobe and thank you. Live, that will be infinitely better because he will do of more course, with his voice. Of course, because he can, you know, you can see and, and he can flirt with the camera and uh, uh, he's surprised and in a really good way. Yes, because his bar is already high and we know he can always exceed his bar. Yes, he hasn't raised. Yes, it. but his don't bar forget. Is always... Listen, listen, listen. What what Kobe had to deal with after Home was released, they, he had such a fun base through the process and then when Home released, it was like drop and and the people were so disappointed and while if they were come up with this kind of song, yeah. the support was amazing and I'm sure Europe would have supported yeah. this kind of song for sure, for sure. That for would sure. have stood out so much this year. Yeah. But anyway, that, that's done. That's done. done. That's done. Mistakes this, were made. This, this is brilliant. This I love it. Perfect. I love everything about it. I can't wait. I can't wait to play that to the kids. Of course, the kids <laughs> would love it. The kids would just absolutely love it. It's just, it's fantastic. I don't know why it's made me think of it. So Little Mix have recently, a documentary came out yesterday about Jessie from Little Mix talking about her mental health and the trolling she's had yeah. since she became yeah. a member of the band. And some of the things in that documentary were really powerful. Being reminded that celebrities, singers, performers are all normal, real people behind that and everything you say has an effect. I am. I like what this message is, if it's what I think it is. Speaking of uh, real people behind, I, uh, even though we didn't have a chance to meet Kobe's mm -hmm. in personal, we had the fantastic opportunity to meet his family oh, yes. when they invited us for dinner when we were there in Israel. So much food, <clears throat> so much amazing food and so much love. Uh, if you ignore the food, for example, which was like... <laughs> I couldn't say yalla bye to this food. <laughs> the love we got mm. in that evening is something that I still cherish in my heart and I think I would do it for years and years because this is... N I didn't take anything for granted when we were there. And thank you so much again, Marimi's family, for having us and for hosting us. And thank you for... S Kobe, mm. for such an amazing yeah. song. <laughs> An amazing journey we've done with you. In Hebrew, we are saying we're closing a circle. In English, we are saying it's a closure. Yeah. Closure for me, it's the end. Uh -huh. For me, I'm closing a circle, but I'm opening a new circle. Starting another loop. And a new loop with Kobe. Kobe, thank you so much. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about this Yalabai song. Basically, in English, it would be off you pop. Off you pop. <laughs> If you like this video, thumbs up. If you dislike this video, yalla bye! <laughs> Please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't done so. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, send us messages, send us fan art, buy some sweet threads so you can dress like us. Uh, if you'd like to join our transformation team, send us an email to toyangoy at gmail.com and shall we say yalla, yalla bye! bye. <laughs>